Hi, Larry Stewart here with FordConstructionPros.com at Balma and the uh, Volvo stand with Carl Gustav Peterson, who's uh, product manager for uh, wheel loaders and ADTs. Yes. Um, Carl, the uh, Volvo has uh, stepped up its game right with a with a 60 ton ADT, the A60H. Tell us about uh, why the the increase in size. What uh, what's come about that that's made this this machine possible? Yeah, we, we see the market has developed a lot since we started in this business 50 years ago, mm -hmm. when we only if we look behind us we have the gravel Charlie here but that was 10 ton payload and meanwhile these 50 years it has been growing a lot and we can see the, the biggest we had before the 40 tonner is the most popular machine we have oh. and uh, therefore there has been a demand for an even bigger uh, ADT and uh, the 60 tonner is now, now reality and to get this size of machines you need a new size class of tires that has oh. been before the obstacle Oh, okay. Because uh, if you, you cannot carry uh, that kind of load with the previous kind of tires, that's actually the, the new invention also here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So I would assume you developed that, those tires with a, a, a tire partner or yes, something? Yes, for sure. We have three suppliers that we're working with. The drop box is an interesting uh, design uh, function that you were talking about earlier. Yes. The drop box is, uh, I guess, kind of by their name, they, they, they end up, you end up dropping your drive shaft down, yeah, yes. down uh, from, from the entry point. The Volvo drop box isn't really a drop box, right? It doesn't, it, it doesn't drop that, that only output Only to shaft. the front axle, actually. Okay, if right. You look, if you look in the input shaft from the engine, it has the same height as the output shaft to the rear mm -hmm. axles. That we call it an inline drop box. Right, okay. That means that we can have a high ground clearance in the hitch area. But it means also a lot to the stability for the trailer part, mm -hmm. since the trailer part is rotating independently or moving independently to the tractor part. Mm -hmm. And if you have a high hitch, you have better stability on the rear part. The if you get the turning point higher up, then you get a, a shorter torque arm, you can say. Okay, and by that right. you get increased uh, stability. What is new, actually it's new on the complete range, is we have another lot of features also that, that we have now together with the G models and H model, the A60. Yeah. We have what you call the hill assist. Mm. So when you're going uphill and stop in the middle of the slope, then the brakes applies automatically. And to get, get further on, you have to just to pull the throttle pedal and it releases the brakes. Mm -hmm. so you don't get backwards when you're standing in the slope. Yeah, okay. You have also what we call a dump support. You know, it could be a little bit uh, dangerous to be out in the mud and, and uh, tipping the load mm -hmm. because uh, the skip could move on the sides and then the, the operator get a warning in the display when it's not allowed to tip anymore and okay. it even uh, prevents you from tipping. We have an onboard weighing, mm -hmm. we have a in built-in scale, you can say, yeah. and if you know the payload on the machine, then you can put in how much uh, engine brake you should use, actually. Mm -hmm. So by that we can increase the engine uh, brake uh, torque to, uh, so we get higher, okay. higher torque okay. than yeah. before. The onboard weighing system is yeah. included in the A60. Okay. It's also included in the A45G FS full suspension. Mm -hmm. On the other models, it's an optional thing, but okay. here, you, here you have it in the base machine. Mm -hmm. And that means that you have in the display, the, the Contronic, the operator display, you can see the payload. Uh, on the outer side, you have the indicator lamp for the, for the loading uh, unit. That yeah. You can see yellow, green and red, what, what you have in the, in the skip. Mm -hmm. And then you can also, by our telematic system, see the productivity over the hours, over the day, and also the fuel efficiency, what okay. is really important for the customer. Sure, yeah, well that weighing system's got to be pretty important. You start talking about an overload situation with a 60-ton truck, yes. and that's a lot of weight that's out there. That's a lot of weight. Yeah. And the accuracy is over the day's production is, is plus minus 1%, actually, 2% tolerance, you can say. Uh, are we going to see a full suspension version of the 60-ton? The, this is actually uh, some kind of full suspension because the front part is the same design as we have in the full suspension. Oh. But the rear part is the standard uh, boogie uh, uh, suspension with a right. boogie beam and the rubber uh, springs, you can mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Why, why that choice? The, to use the, the FS style front, front suspension but not on the rear? That has to do with that there is normally no need for this kind of machine because, you know, as big as the machine is, you less you feel the, the ground structure. Okay, sure, yeah. But for the operator comfort, and I must say, I don't know how it is in the rest of the globe, but in Europe it's very important now with the whole body vibration. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, and it becomes more and more in focus. And